Okay, YouTube. Um, here is the first step in making your orc barricade. You're going to, like I said, cut out the rectangular part for the base and then cut out all the shapes you're going to use. Um, you'll notice that one side will be white and the other side is going to have the kind of glossy uh, label part. Do not glue this face up. Trust me, I did it. Painting this is a pain in the butt. The paint will just run all over it and it'll be really thin. The paint will stay on this side a lot better. So glue everything with this facing up. You will be thankful in the long run. So just use the uh, Elmer School glue and I find it uh, helpful to take a piece and kind of dry fit where you want it to go and then or is it? I don't want that piece. Alright. I'm going to put this big piece right there in the middle. So I'm going to take the Elmer's glue and put the glue on the big part itself, not on the small triangle. Because I just find it easier this way because all the layers it's going to be easier to stick this to that than it is to get all the glue on here to stick down on there. So put the shape where you want it and hold it until the glue dries. So just wait a little bit. After the glue has dried what you're going to do is get your paintbrush and your red. And you're just going to do a base coat over this whole thing. I'm only going to do a little section so you can see how you're supposed to paint this because it'd be boring to watch me sit here and paint the whole thing and YouTube videos can't go on that long. Anyway, huh, this red is really beating the crap. Hopefully after Christmas I can get some more colors and better quality colors. Just rinse your paint off and or your brush off in some water. Get some paint. Yes, it's from the pot. No, I really don't care. And just give this a nice even coat all over. And try to not leave any brush strokes. In case some of you are wondering, this is the uh, one brush that I own that I used on my Space Marines and back then it was actually kind of a decent brush. Now it's pretty much gone to crap because after I did my Space Marines all I had left to do was either train projects or nothing so I've been using this to dry brush terrain a lot lately and it has made the bristles go to crap as you can see it's no longer a nice sharp point. Anyway, get up inside all these little creases right there because you don't want any white to be showing through underneath. And unless you just want to have crappy quality terrain then by all means go for it. Okay, that's good enough. Rinse your brush off, and now we're going to do the metal wearing section. Uh, wait for this to dry. It looks like this half of it is pretty good, so we'll go ahead and do that part. Uh, Dang, my paints are really crappy. Gotta get these mixed up. Excuse me for taking so long and not being prepared. Let's 
so uh, just l leave me a comment and telling me if you like this uh, format me working and just letting you guys watch or if you would prefer like a uh, slideshow version with print like subtitles I guess alright I just mixed up the paint with the end of my brush and wiped it on the paper towel. Since I'm going to be dry brushing, I'm just going to go ahead and rub my brush in this because I don't want to waste the paint. For those of you who don't know, dry brushing, you're going to get paint on the end of your brush and then use a paper towel to wipe off as much of the paint as you can until barely any is coming off. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the, almost the edge of the brush and just kind of pull it across not getting very much on here because you want it to look like the red is over the uh, metal part like the metal is showing through from underneath and it's going to look sort of like that and you're just going to keep doing this and layer type things until you are satisfied with how it looks.